What up, YouTube? Scott here from the all-new Music in Motion. I uh, wanted to take you guys, we got a new video coming out here. So we're gonna show you the project we're gonna be working on. Probably a series of videos, but um, figure we'd take advantage of this beautiful day and show you why, why we had it out here. But um, this here is a 1979 Chevy C10. Uh, this is gonna be our next project. So this one here, what we're gonna be doing with it, uh, I don't want to say a basic audio system because it's definitely not it's definitely the style we do things so we're going to be doing a uh huh needs a lot of love actually well not terribly amount of love but stereo wise it needs some love i don't see anything in here so um i guess what we're going to be doing the plan is we're going to be doing some a pillars in here so we're going to be building a pillar from scratch we have an illusion uh illusion audio c3 cx we have some eight inch mid bass drivers from Illusion that I'm pretty sure we're gonna to try to sneak down in these kick panels. Uh, we talked about the door location as a possibility, but uh, it's all gonna come down to where it fits. I know head unit wise, we gotta do a head unit replacement on this. We're gonna move that, I mean, the tack. I mean, it's not terrible, but it, it's a little gaudy for me. So we might get that relocated or simply remove it. Um, center console, we got, oh, what do we have hiding back here? Look at these little cuties. Oh, come on, let's see. What is this little guy right here? Got the old by nine sitting back here in a by nine box. So needless to say, that's gonna go. It doesn't look like it's mounted super awesome. Oh, you know what it is? Let's see. Oh, I'm not gonna mess with it, but it looks like one of those you can go parking lot pimping with if you wanted to pull it out and set it off. So um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything in the doors unless we have to get the mid-base driver in there. I know this is our first option for a location so we would just rebuild the bottom half and then uh get the eight in here but might also do some door treatment if we go in the door so i guess what we're gonna have to do is the skinny is we're gonna have to get this thing pulled apart well first we're gonna get it in the bay we're gonna get it in the bay get it pulled apart and let's go in buenos dias youtube so we got our c10 project in here we're gonna go ahead and get it uh we got some things figured out at least. So we got it in here. We got it all masked up. Um, man, we see some this is really cool under the hood. So we've been picking on the boss. This truck, it's got this 350 and it's super clean, runs great, reliable. But man, I know he's got an LS3 sitting at his shop and it would drop right in there. Just saying. But so he's going to hate me for bringing it up in the video. But I think it's a good idea. I'm just saying. But um, regarding the audio system, what we decided is... Um, I think what we are going to do is um, those eights, the mid base drivers are going to fit in the door here. And I know that was the first choice from the client. So we are going to go ahead and move forward with that. Uh, we'll basically build a bottom half here. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do the eight down in the door here. But um, I think for today, what this video is going to cover is we're going to go ahead and get all the cabling set up in here. I know we have, we're going to get the radio out, get that situation addressed. I think the plan, what we're going to try to do is maybe modify that location. Let's see if we can get you over there. I think we're gonna to try to modify that location and get a double din radio in here. I'm not super keen on a floating screen in this application just cause it'd be huge. Uh, but we're gonna look at some options uh, to get, we need a screen down there. I mean, that's for sure. Um, cabling wise, what we're gonna be doing in here, it's pretty straightforward to be honest. We're gonna run some aught gauge front to back. We do have two amplifiers from JL Audio. So we're gonna be doing uh, one of their VXI 808s. It's gonna be an eight channel. I think we're 75 by eight on that amplifier, but built in DSP, which is really cool. So optical inputs, outputs, the whole nine yards. And then uh, we also have an, I think it's one of the RD 1000s from JL Audio, which is gonna be a thousand watt mono. So we're gonna run that on a single TW513, which is one of their shallow woofers, which is a really cool woofer. Um, so it should, should be a happy match there. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to prep our speaker wires and stuff. Again, we're going to run this whole system. It's going to be a front end fully active. So again, eight inch mid bases in the doors. We're going to bridge on two channels. Uh, then we're going to do the three and the tweet from the C3CX. Those are actually, we can run those as individual drivers. They just mount in a convertible environment, which we'll show you when we get into the pillars. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to prep some speaker wires, get all of our power situated, do all of our cable management. We're also going to get the doors off of this thing because putting the eights in the doors, we are going to have to do some sound treatment in there. I don't think it's been addressed. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well. But um, without further ado, let's get you guys set up. We're going to get into a time lapse and start doing some cabling. So let's go.
Cool, cool. So, cabling good? So we got um, all of our cables are running prepped to the back here. So we got speaker wires, we've got remote gain level for the VXI amplifier, we've got signal. Um, to get our power wire run through, so we ran an gauge through. We actually punched a hole in the floor here. The gas tank's over there, so we wanted to kind of work around that a little bit. Um, all of our cables up. We split out both sides here, so this is going to be our mid base wire. Um, we got holes drilled, grommets are all in place. Uh, we actually cut a hole in the door to accommodate for the speaker, so I've got that all situated. Um, wires prepped up top for the three tweet or for our C3CX, which again, we'll kind of cover some of that speaker in the A-pillar video. Um, cables are at the radio. I mean, we're all prepped and good here, so that's super positive. What we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna get the carpet kit put back in. Um, once the carpet kit is back installed, we're probably gonna go ahead and mess with the doors a little bit. We still have some treatment to do in there. So um, let's go ahead and get back at it. We're gonna get you guys set up, and uh, yeah, we'll get the doors situated after we get the carpet kit in and keep on rolling. Yep, what up? Had to get my music turned down for you guys, but um, let's show you as promised where we were. So we did get the carpet kit reinstalled. So, and then we got, this is all of our green protective film. Um, it's adhesive back. So what we do is after we get the carpet kit reinstalled, we go ahead and mask the carpets up because we do, we do kind of scrub the carpets. So we want to make sure that once they're clean, we wrap them, they stay clean through the rest of the process. Um, but now that this is all in, where we're going to go is Las Puertas the doors. So real simply what we're gonna do here, nothing crazy. Um, we've got some treatment to do on the outside of the panel. So we're gonna get some treatment. We have our black hole material. So our black hole mat's gonna go on the outside, gonna go on the inside. And then on these, I'll show you guys real quick here. So these I believe are, they might be OEM. They might be like OEM replacements from an aftermarket company. Um, I'm not super sure, but um, as you can see, these are just plastic. So we're gonna actually treat the back side of the door too, just to make sure we don't have any resonance. Um, resonance control 101, man, this stuff is super important. The more we can troubleshoot the noise, or not necessarily the noise, but the more we alleviate the resonance, uh, the more we can jam. The more power we can run, the more clean sound we get. I mean, nobody wants to hear the res Nobody wants to hear the car going wang, wang. So um, let's go ahead and get you guys set up on a time lapse or super fast YouTube mode, as I put it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some basic treatment laid up in the doors. We'll start there. Then what we're actually gonna do is we're actually gonna we're gonna build the bottom half of the doors. So we're just gonna do a pod on there just to facilitate that new eight-inch driver from Illusion. Um, these are some of my favorite eights, man. The new carbon stuff from Illusion is really cool. I actually run them in my car and I love them. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get set up and do some work.
So real quick, we wanted to take a second. I know we haven't covered a lot of this, but um, basically when we talk about our treatment packages here, let me get you guys set up again and I can kind of go over it with you. Um, when we talk about our treatment packages, there's three layers to the door that we talk about. And then there's also gonna be some other little accessory stuff that we talk about. But um, when we talk about a full treatment package, basically what we're looking at is we're gonna go through like we did on here. We're gonna treat the outside metal. Um, the outside metal, it is, it's a very important spot. It's almost the most important spot, right? So a lot of these are just gonna be kind of just a basic sheet metal, right? So there's not a lot of mass to them. Older cars are gonna have a little more mass, but um, newer vehicles are just not gonna have a lot of mass on the sheet metal, right? So it's gonna resonate. Um, so what we try to do is we go in and we treat all the exterior metal. We're not only adding mass to it, but we're also adding an acoustic pad. Our material is made up of two layers. We basically have a butyl bottom that's got a foil top to it, and that's kind of the mass that we add. And then we have an acoustic pad on top from Black Hole. So the acoustic pad helps with our back wave of the speaker. So what I mean by that is basically when a speaker plays, it plays out and then it plays in, right? So the sound waves coming out of the speaker, we can address. Uh, sound waves that come back actually go into the door panel or wherever they're playing into, right? So this material helps us control that back wave, right? We don't want it to create any kind of cancellation. So we don't want it bouncing around the door like a ping pong ball or anything like that. We want to just, we want to dampen it, right? So we want to just dissipate it. So what this material does, it's absorptive, right? So it actually kind of helps cushion some of that. It's got thermal barriers. It's got a whole bunch of benefits in that respect. It makes for a quieter ride because we're adding the mass and we have all the, all the cushion. I mean, imagine a wall with insulation without insulation, right? So this obviously we can hear is totally dead, where if we come back here, and we're not gonna beat on this, but so we hear how that resonates. I mean, now we can come out here just totally dead so there's no tricks with that that's literally just what it is so treatment is probably one of the most important aspects to one of our high-end stereo systems I don't care what anybody says you can throw the best products in a vehicle and if they're not set up appropriately what's the value of the best product right I mean it's you give a Wagyu steak to Gordon Ramsay or you give it to some six-year-old it's still a Wagyu steak but I think you guys can fill in the blanks you know so um, this is a crucial aspect of what we do. So you're gonna see us do a lot of it. Um, we will also have some packages coming out in the future uh, as you see us do in these. Um, if we can pre-do some of these and it makes sense, then we will, you know? So you guys just continue to follow us, you know, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, tell us what you think about treatment. If there's other treatments you guys are using, uh, other techniques maybe that I don't know or techniques that we use that you have questions about. I mean, we're happy to answer all those questions, man. But don't skip these steps, especially if you're doing it yourself, man. They're very, very important. So we'll also talk about, again, we talked about the, the outside skin is our first layer. Inside skin is obviously our second layer, which is obviously almost as important as the outside skin. Uh, we do in some environments, we go back and baffle these off. What I mean by baffle these off is we would basically create a panel out of some kind of a plastic to service or to close this off but that's still keep the serviceability if you ever had to get into the window tracks or anything like that for service. Um, in this circumstance, the small holes we went ahead and just covered. There's no detriment there to just put in treatment over them. Larger accesses, in this application, this one's gonna remain open. Um, to trim out around this, it's, it's just not practical for the extent of what we're doing in this vehicle. Uh, the rest of it is closed off. The vents down here do need to stay open. It's for cabin pressure stuff, so, but, um, yeah, I mean, every install is its own animal, right? So as long as you address each one in the most appropriate environment based on what you're trying to accomplish, there's really no wrong in that, right? So outside of the two layers of treatment that we cover to go back, um, the third layer, just for peace of mind, would be the door skin itself. Um, when the door card is removed, we showed you guys that earlier in the video, basically what we would do is, and we're going to do it, but we're just gonna apply treatment to the backside of the door panel. So then we have our outside skin, inside skin, sometimes baffled off and then our door card right so outside of that we do have some rings that we do use in some circumstances what the rings will do is help seal the speaker to the door card if necessary um, again that way we're just not losing any energy in the door you know I, a lot of this stuff seems very meticulous i know some people think like why would you even consider that stuff well that's what makes us us that's what makes music in motion a premier installation center for high-end stereo systems you know so um you guys continue to follow. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now and get back to work. Um, but yeah, let's go hit this other door and keep on rolling.
guys. So let's catch up out of that last time lapse we had getting the doors put on and stuff. Uh, we'll show you real quick. So we don't want to jump too far ahead, but got the tops of the doors on, everything's situated there. Uh, there were a couple parts we replaced in the door, uh, a couple parts uh, pertinent to the locks and things like that. So we took care of some of that stuff while we were in there. Uh, here's what we're working on now is the lower half of the doors. So this here is the factory bottom basically. So there's a little vent in the door. I'm assuming it's for cab pressure. A um, little chrome trim, but just a basic carpeted panel. Uh, so these are what we're going to put down there. So this we drew on the laser. Uh, we drew, well, we drew in CAD and then we processed on the laser. So basically what we have is, um, it's quite a few pieces here, but essentially, so this is our base piece, which is essentially our bottom piece here. So we have our speaker cut out for our eight inch illusion driver. And then we just have some layers, man. So this is uh, the first trim that we have. Then we have our insert that's going to trim out the speaker. Probably do some branding on it here. I was just playing around on the laser. So this is going to be a painted insert I think we're going to do. So this we'll probably do out of a painted acrylic or uh, something of that nature. Or maybe some ABS that we shoot. But, and then um, this plug here, we're going to use this to do our press grill. So pretty straightforward. Outside of that, what we're going to do is, and, and we're going to use these. So the, the laser basically made templates for us. And then we're going to transfer those onto different materials as we see fit to, to build the panel itself. But I think we are going to cut this out here. <clears throat> and we're going to work it in here. We do want to keep the vent. It's not something I'm going to rebuild. So and I, I think the carpet aspect will also help break up material wise. So once we get that stuff all situated, um, come over here. And this is kind of the general idea of what we get. So. Right now what we have is we have our hole cut here. Um, we buried it down a little bit just to countersink the driver, just to get it flush in there because it does go behind the trim just slightly. Um, layout wise, it's just what was offered to us. So that's what we had to work with. We did get a mounting system created. We just have some screws in here now, but what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll probably thread cert those. Um, eh, probably. Then we have our trim. So what we'll do is I think we're gonna cut this out, uh, leave a little lip, and that way we can get a little mounting surface right there to do just an additional mounting hardware or additional bolt right there. Uh, that will also have our little vent there. Uh, but basically these are moving right along. They fit really well. They're nice on the door, nothing too obtrusive and just pretty clean and simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get these worked. We do have a mounted, again, we just put some screws in there just as part of our mounting system. We use that just to line the holes up, make sure everything fits appropriately. And then uh, we'll go back to put the thread certs in it and stuff. And that way there's machine hardware in there and it's just, it's a more serviceable panel at that point. Uh, getting them mounted though, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tape this and just backfill some of this with some Bondo. Just so we have a nice smooth transition on the door there. Very nice, we don't want this gap. You're just gonna see, you're gonna see the treatment back there. And because it is PVC on the bottom, uh, we just have to be careful because the screws will pull it tight. Uh, we just don't want that to happen. We don't want to distort the panel because then it's gonna mess with our inserts and things of that nature. So, um, and then we did the same thing over here on the driver's side. So catch you on that one real quick. So again, driver's side, just the same here. So super clean, super simple, everything fits and uh, and these things should jam. I mean, these doors were treated really well. I mean, they, they came out really nice. So uh, I'm anxious. These C8s, man, it's, I'm, I'm a little biased, but definitely some of my favorites. So we're gonna go ahead and get rolling. We're gonna get this cleaned up. We're gonna do some, uh, just do some edge matching there just to clean up that trim to the door and keep working the trim, man. So you guys stay with us. We're gonna go into super fast YouTube mode here.
När morgonen gryr och dimman ligger tät bland bergen, då dansar gruvfrun. Osynlig för blotta ögat, men med påtaglig närvaro, dansar gruvfrun. När natthimlen glittrar och de djupa skogarna tystnat, då dansar gruvfrun. Påtaglig och vacker, ekligt ljus gråslöja, dansar gruvfrun. All right, guys, so um, I got most of that before the uh, battery died on the GoPro and the time lapse there, but so we were wrapping these panels, so everything came out really nice. Uh, we're super happy with these. So pretty simple, but very stylistic for what the door is, you know? So we did get our thread certs in here. This is all wrapped, prepped, ready to roll. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get these mounted. We just wanted to take a quick second, break up the time lapse there and kind of tell you where we were at. So we're gonna get these guys mounted on here. Uh, once these are mounted, I'm gonna do driver and passenger side, then we'll go ahead and get speakers loaded in here. Um, and then we'll just keep going from there. So, into the super fast YouTube mode. Guys, let's show you where we're at. So got both the panels mounted. Uh, speakers are in. It's definitely a plus. Uh, look great. I mean, they came out really nice. So we did get the factory carpet cut with the factory grill here. So that's actually stuck down to the door. Um, carpet trims out really, really nice. Uh, speakers installed. It's gasket tape behind it. All nice and mounted. All the mounting system, all of our thread certs, all of our M5 thread certs. Uh, we did sneak a couple screws behind this just for service. Um, but yeah, basically it. So um, the next pieces we're going to work are going to be the, um, the grill that goes around the speaker here. So we've got a couple pieces of acrylic we're going to cut on the laser. So we're going to put those together. We do have to do a little bit of notch in here. So we are going to do it. Uh, we need a half inch grill 
but right here it's just very very tight so the trim that we have sits just over the surround so we're going to cut a second one out a quarter and we're just going to come up above that there so we'll do a little bit of work on the laser there uh, outside of that this piece um sorry, zoom way in on that but um yeah so right now i don't know what i'm going to do with it i have a couple ideas in mind i kind of want to paint a piece right there i think a painted insert would look really good right there um, i could also do another vinyl insert there just a just to keep it smooth, you know what I mean? Keep it pretty streamlined. But I think we're gonna I think we're leaning more towards the painted piece, so we're gonna deal with that when we get there. We're gonna do the speaker grills first, and then uh Yeah, then we should be wrapped up with all with these doors. So um let's go ahead and keep rolling. We're gonna go ahead and um move over to the laser. We're gonna draw, modify the grill that we have, get a second one cut, and then uh put them together and keep on rolling. So you guys stay with us. I appreciate you uh Enjoying the videos and stuff. And if you guys are digging them, man, uh, like, subscribe, help a man's algorithm, dude. So I appreciate you guys and thanks for sticking with us. So let's get back to super fast YouTube mode. Okay, I lied, I'm a bad friend. So I did jump ahead on you guys a little bit. So let's show you, I know we said we were gonna go to the laser. We went to the laser, we did make some files. Um, we got our acrylic all set up. We just got it, we're getting it in some primer right now. So again, I just, Jumped ahead, so I apologize. So we got these all situated. Um, we're getting the, we're gonna get set up to do some upholstery. Here's where we're at with the doors. So I know I just showed you guys the walkthrough, but it did also sneak in a handle. Um, <laughs> again, bad friend. So I got this all set up. We're gonna go ahead and get this wrapped. I have this guy here, it looks like he fell off. So just like I had just mentioned to you guys prior here, I'm still on the fence about what I'm gonna do with this guy. Um, <laughs> I'm just lying through my teeth, I guess. Because as much as I told you I wanted to paint it, I gave it a little more thought, and I, I think we're gonna just wrap it in some vinyl. Um, just get it reduced, get it all situated. I think it'll look really nice. I just, I kinda wanna lose it more than see it, and I think the black paint is just, I, I just don't think I have the paint I wanna see it in, so. Um, but at any rate, we're gonna keep moving. It's, get these doors wrapped up. So let's go ahead and do some upholstery work. We're gonna let our primer set up. I might even try to dust some color on those, but I will try to include you guys this next time, so. Uh, let's actually go into super fast YouTube mode this time and uh, let's do some work.
All right, check it out. So we got our press grill. Nice. Super cool, came out really nice. So we're gonna take this over. We got uh, one of them, we painted this one already. So he's painted, we gotta get some grill cloth. We're gonna press them in there, get this, this grill wrapped up. Uh, the other one, we're gonna get some paint on it, get it dressed up, get it ready for paint and stuff. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do those. And then that's the couple things we have left to finish up the doors and we'll get these things wrapped up. So back into super fast YouTube mode, we'll tie up these last couple little bits and keep on going. I'm telling you guys, one of these times you're gonna catch me singing. So this is probably the best part of the build, the completa. So let's check out what we got. Uh, from the time lapse there, you've seen us doing the grills. Uh, this was kind of our finished product here. So these came out really, really smooth. So grills look great. Everything nice and seamed. Everything's real good. So we're super happy with how these turned out. So we did do the grill or the uh, the grill cloth on top of the metal mesh. And we've got it sitting back behind our plexi insert here. Uh, it's the engraving we did on here. I mean, these should be really, really awesome. They're gonna sound good. There's no vibrations in the doors. I mean, the resonance in there uh, seems to be pretty controlled, so I think we did all right. So we've got that one done. Come over here, show you the driver's side. All right. So, all in all, I would say that's a success. I think my favorite part about doing these old trucks is just how simplistic you can play with line work, you can play with textures. You know, it doesn't have to be overbuilt, you know, and it's just so tasteful when they're done. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. That's gonna be it for all of our cable management treatment and uh, the door panels there. So go ahead and uh, if you don't mind, comments, likes, get us rolling here, you guys. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. So uh, it's been a fun project so far and we're gonna keep rolling through it, but um, like I said, like, comment, make sure you're following us, subscribe to the channel and stuff. You can also go check out all of our social handles. I think we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, things of that nature. It's all Music in Motion BC for Boyne City. So you guys go check us out over there. We're gonna get some content, uh, content up and running. And uh, until the next one, we'll guys see you and uh, stay classy.